Welcome back, lawn lovers. BW here again. Hey, it's time we had to talk about that embarrassing fungus problem. It's Wednesday, May 12th today, and my two-inch soil temperatures are reaching 55 to 60 degrees. That makes this the proper time for me to apply my early season DMI fungicide. My subscribers may remember when I showed them some of the fungus problems I was having last summer in the video I called, It's All About My Lawn Weeds. For as long as I can remember, I've had circular brown spots show up in my lawn every summer. This is a large lawn, and it's difficult to water by hand, so it tends to suffer some drought stress every year. But the brown spots seem to last all summer, no matter how much I water the lawn. I planted some bewitched Kentucky bluegrass under this tree a couple of years ago, and look what's happening. This is Summer Patch, a lawn fungus that hits in the spring but doesn't show damage until the heat and stress of the summer. It looks just like necrotic ring spot. Bewitch can resist necrotic ring spot, but suffers from summer patch. I'll have to plant another type of bluegrass here that is resistant to summer patch. Notice the ring shape. Some people call it frog eye. This really looks like a frog eye. And the same thing, but not a perfect ring shape. A better ring shape here. There are two spring fungal diseases that can cause circular brown spots that some people call frog eye. One is summer patch and the other is necrotic ring spot. Both are caused by a similar fungus and both happen at the same time of year. The spots show up in the summer, but the fungus does its work in the spring by damaging the roots of the grass plant, preventing the grass from absorbing enough water and nutrients to survive the summer stresses. The patches happen in the same spots every year and expand at a rate of two to four inches per year. You'll often find resistant grasses like fescues living in the middle of these rings, giving the ring that frog eye appearance. Last year I also had some dollar spot fungus. That's a new one for me. This usually occurs in the more wide open areas of the lawn that get a lot of dew overnight. It's called dollar spot because of the way it begins as small silver dollar sized spots in the lawn. I've been working very hard to renovate my lawn with newer varieties of Kentucky bluegrass that are more resistant to these types of fungus. But most Kentucky bluegrasses are resistant to one of them, but not the other. By the way, disease resistant doesn't mean disease proof, but it will help in preventing disease. I first renovated the section of my lawn around the maple tree with bewitched Kentucky bluegrass because it does well in the shade. Unfortunately for me, Bewitched is resistant to necrotic ring spot disease, but not summer patch. With this many patches now showing up in my Bewitched Kentucky Bluegrass, I'm assuming this disease is summer patch. That's why I re-renovated the Bewitched Kentucky Bluegrass to Mazama Kentucky Bluegrass last fall. Hopefully I won't have any more summer patch there anymore. So now I have a lawn comprised of summer patch resistant grasses, but they're not quite resistant enough to prevent all of the disease every year. Even though I also prevent thatch buildup, soil compaction, water, and fertilize properly. That leaves me with one last thing I can do to prevent disease, and that's using a fungicide. I like to set my spreader so that it will take me two passes to spread the product. That usually means setting it to two thirds of the recommended spreader setting. I can see that I used up a little more than half of the product on the first pass, so I'm adjusting it to spread a little less on the second pass. The preventative rate for this product is 4 pounds per thousand square feet and lasts for 28 days. I weighed out a little over 13 pounds of product to cover this 3.3 thousand square foot area. Thankfully there are DMI fungicides available that can prevent both summer patch and necrotic ring spot as well as other fungal diseases like dollar spot. DMI stands for demethylation inhibitors and they are a group 3 fungicide. Propiconazole may be the most well-known of these DMI fungicides, but propiconazole doesn't do as well on necrotic ring spot. That's why I've chosen to use a product that contains microbutanol. I'm using Fertilom F-Stop, but there are other products containing microbutanol available, so it may pay to shop around. Whatever fungicide you use, be sure to read, understand, and follow all the directions on the label of the product before you use it. 
In fact, read that online before you buy the product so that you don't buy the wrong product. Fungicide can be expensive, and some think it can be hard on some beneficial soil organisms. So I'm using this at the preventative low rate, and I'm only using it in the area of the lawn that I typically have the fungus. I will leave the area near the maple tree with the new Mazama Kentucky bluegrass alone this year to see if it can resist the disease on its own. DMI fungicides are not recommended for use in the summer heat, so I'm planning to use this product twice and then switch to a group 11 or a 1 fungicide for the summer. That will also prevent the fungus from becoming resistant to the DMI fungicide. I'll put a link in the description below the video to a handy website that can help you determine the proper time for your early DMI fungicide application. Just plug in your zip code and select the early season DMI tab on the right side of the map. Don't worry if you discover that you missed the best time to apply your fungicide. You can apply it now and it will still help to prevent damage. There, my spreader adjustment worked and I was able to spread it just about perfectly. Now I just need to water it in to make it work. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell next to it so you don't miss any new videos. And remember, you can do it.